hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and infinix is about to launch their first ever made laptop in this video i'll be sharing with you the specs of this laptop the laptop is going to be launched in some countries first so stay to the end of the video to find out so without wasting much time here subscribe and let's get to the video so as you know battery life is very important on the infinix x1 and x1 pro we'll have the same 55 high watt capacity battery that can last up to 13 hours of video play also this laptop will be able to charge up to 70 percent in one hour using the 65 watt fast charger that supports pd 3.0 as standard another amazing thing about the charger is it will be able to charge other smartphones including infinix devices because it supports uc 3.0 and 2.0 charging protocol so for the main spec of the InBook X1, on the InBook X1 Pro uses the Intel iSlick 10th Gen Core i7 CPU together with an Iris Plus graphics GPU. The CPU clocks at 1.3 GHz up to 3.9 GHz. So another difference here on the Infinix X1 Pro is you get an ultra fast fingerprint reader that helps you unlock your device faster as compared to the X1 Pro itself. The standard version of the InBook X1 comes in two types with Core i3 and i5 CPU but they all use the same Intel UHD graphics chip. So one thing you should note here is don't really consider this as a highly gaming laptop. So on the X1 series are all equipped with NVMe SSD and uses LPDDR4X memory which can read up to 3200 MHz. You get a 16 gig internal memory on the X1 Pro whilst the X1 uses 8 gig memory. For the display on the Infinix X1 series, they will all have the same 14 inch 1920 by 1080 high resolution screen size with 60 Hz refresh rate. On all series of the InBook X1, you get a 2 USB Type-C port, 1 USB 3.0, 2 USB 2.0, 1 HDMI, 1 DC charging port, audio jack and also a micro SD card reader. So, so far as sound is concerned, the Infinix X1 series speakers will use DTS audio processing to provide you the user with 360 degree stereo sound effect. On the laptop also has a physical button that allows you to turn on and turn off web camera for full privacy protection. So for me, I think this laptop is made to target the needs of students and not for heavy gaming or performing any high tax. But anyways, it can still do something. Like the video if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to share to others. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.